Chris Chase 5. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? It's CIA Chris here. And today's video consists of my major two predictions for the 2021 CDL season. This event consists of all 12 CDL teams and the winning team's players will all secure a pretty large paycheck acknowledging their achievements. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so we'll be starting things off here in Elimination Round 1 with LAG versus the Florida Mutineers. This series I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. Florida recently has been struggling. They are on a two game losing streak. LAG on the other hand has been looking lights out recently. They even just beat FaZe last weekend. They beat FaZe last weekend and went undefeated during their home series. Florida also just made a roster change. They dropped the one and only Caesar Skies Bueno. They say I've been lucky, but ambition is not luck. It's a choice. My name is Caesar Skies Bueno, and I chose to invest in my game. And they picked up a player named Legion. I'm personally not sure they'll perform better without him, to be honest, which is why I'm calling this one 3-0 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. For the next matchup here, we have the Paris Legion versus the LA Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the LA Thieves. The Thieves recently have been in a major slump and they've been losing a lot recently. Most recently though, they just made another roster change. Under this change, Slasher is being moved to the bench and Draza is coming in from Challengers. The Thieves also had to play last week with Temp subbing after Kenny had a medical emergency. Because of this, I do not feel the team's losses truly speak to where they are at right now. Paris, in my opinion, hasn't done anything stand out if Shamita award them this series. They have looked good at times, but have had problems closing series out all season. I also think the Thieves roster change was good. I think it was definitely the right decision. They needed to play Draza all season. He's been doing really good in challengers. Also, I believe the slasher was the issue from the beginning, and he was torching the Thieves vibes the entire time. But uh, more importantly, I I've said this for a while. I love I love Austin uh, and I actually respect him as a teammate. Not many people do. You either hate Austin or you love him. Uh, and Austin, you you have to have a certain attitude and personality to team with him. It's as simple as that. If you don't, you will not do well individually and the team won't do well. As the naval shows in this clip, he was hard to work or play with and Katie isn't everything. I think the boys will definitely be fired up here. They'll be playing with lots of energy and passion. I feel that they will bounce back and come out swinging in this series, which is why I'm calling it 3-1 in favor of the LA Thieves. Next up, we move to winners round one. First up, we have Optic Chicago versus the Toronto Ultra. This series I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Optic Chicago. Optic was down bad for a minute, but have since refound their mojo. They got swept in two straight matches, but then bounced back last week, beating both Empire and Surge. Toronto has been rather inconsistent. They are winning some matches here, obviously, but honestly, they're barely doing it. They beat both LAG and the Thieves in a map five, and they are still losing series two. Like most recently, they lost to Subliners, and they also lost to FaZe during the stage. Optic as of late has looked like a top team again. I expect them to fully reestablish themselves as one in this series. For the next series, we have the New York Subliners versus the Dallas Empire. This series I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Empire so far has had the upper hand on Subliners all season. They beat Subliners twice already and are still ahead of them currently in the CDL point standings. NYSL has looked very solid though. They've definitely pushed Empire's buttons. I have no doubt that they will come out and put up another big fight against them in this one too. It should be a close series, but I think the talent on Empire will prevail just a little bit more and help them to secure the series. This is especially the case given their most recent loss being such a closely contested match against Optic. Next up, moving to elimination round two, we have the Seattle Surge versus the LA Gorillas. Seattle has looked good recently, but is currently on a losing streak. They will be coming into this matchup off losses to both Optic and Rocker. LAG on the other hand, as stated before, has looked phenomenal recently. They are still the only team to beat FaZe and they went undefeated during their home series. It doesn't really feel like they belong in the loser's bracket right now, to be honest. But both teams have looked solid recently, so it should be a good series. LAG has just been on fire recently, which is why I'm giving them the slight edge here in a 3-2 fashion. For the next matchup here, we have the London Royal Ravens versus the LA Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the London Royal Ravens. London recently has been in a slump. They've lost two straight matches. The Thieves coming into this will also still be trying to figure out their roster woes. Because of this, they will not be playing at their full potential. London also won the first meeting between the two. The Thieves will not be prepared enough to regain here, and Paul X, I give the advantage over Venom. These two are former teammates, and I think will be the key matchup to watch in this series. Next up, moving to winners round two here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus Chicago Optic. I just realized it literally switched from Optic Chicago to Chicago Optic in the bracket. Did you guys even notice that? That's crazy. 
All right, but this matchup, I'll have to call three to one in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe is no longer undefeated. They'll be mad and more motivated now because of this coming into this major. Optic coming into this will be riding a 3-0 high over Ultra, who in my opinion is debatably the weakest team starting in winners. They're both good teams, but I don't think Optic will be mentally prepared to face a FaZe roster that has been dominating all season. They already faced the loss recently, looking to stay on top. And for the next matchup here, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Dallas Empire. This matchup, I'll be calling three to one in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Rocker is Empire's kryptonite. They have already beat Empire twice this season. Standy, also since joining the team, has been playing lights out. That roster is the only roster currently undefeated. There is no longer any teams without a loss, but this group of four players has yet to lose a series together. Both teams are very good though, so I definitely do not think it should be a 3-0. Next up, moving to elimination round 3 here, we have the Toronto Ultra vs the LA Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Gorillas. LAG has been looking scary. Going into this match, they will have been on a loser's run and they are still the only team to beat FaZe. The Ultra, like I said before, have been winning, but barely and they also have been losing. Honestly, given the most recent week of games, this seems backwards to me. Based on that, I would have LAG starting in winners and Ultra starting in losers. Because of this, I will have to call a 3-2 in favor of LAG. Both teams have looked solid and have been comparable at times though. I definitely expect the series to be close. The last meetup between the two teams also went in favor of LAG and it was a map 5 as well. And for the next matchup here, we have the New York Subliners versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I will be calling 3-0 in favor of the New York Subliners. NYSL this season has looked phenomenal and they are currently third in the standings. London London, as stated before, has been struggling a little bit recently. They were on a losing streak coming into this major. This is one of the few series this season I actually feel very strongly in favor of another team for. This is a no-brainer NYSL victory in my mind. They have looked like the more talented team all year. Next up in Elim round 4 here, we have the Dallas Empire versus LA Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Dallas Empire. LAG has looked good recently, but Empire hasn't really changed. They have been a top team all year and are currently still sitting second in the standings. Empire coming into this has also experienced some major losses recently. They lost to Rocker during the event and to Optic at the end of stage 2. In this matchup because of this, they will be super fired up and it will show in their gameplay. I feel that they will be firing on all cylinders. LAG's performance recently I also think is a bit misleading. I know that they beat FaZe, but when they enter into the gauntlet of being that close to a major final, I do not think they will be able to hold up versus these other top teams. For the next matchup here, we have Chicago Optic versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the New York Subliners. The Subliners have been playing solid and consistent all season. Season. They've been playing good ever since the beginning when they lost to the Thieves. They are also currently ahead of Optic in the standings. Optic is playing good again though and they definitely are a talented team. They should without a doubt in my mind make this series close and competitive and I expect to see some down to the wire intense maps. For the next matchup here we move on to Elim round 5 where we have the Dallas Empire versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Dallas Empire. NYSL has lost to Dallas 3 times this season coming into this matchup meaning they will definitely be shook up. Dallas is also looking to get back to the top. They've been in the shadows of phase all season after ending the MW season in first. I think they will definitely be looking to make a statement during this major. Because of this, I honestly just feel like the talent empire will prevail here and it will elevate them into the Elam finals. Next up in the winners finals here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Minnesota Rocker. This series I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe so far has only lost once and it was last week. Coming into this matchup, they will be very motivated to stay on top and secure that advantage of coming into the finals from winners. Rocker's roster, on the other hand, is the only undefeated group of four right now, and with the addition of Sandy, they have been going off. I think that because of this, they will definitely give FaZe a run for their money. But both teams have looked good recently. It could easily go either way, honestly, and it should be a very close series. Next up in the Elam final, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Dallas Empire. This series, I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Rocker currently coming into this will still be the only undefeated roster. The team was also underperforming at the beginning of the season. This means that they'll be extra motivated to come out hot here. Empire's Kryptonite is also Rocker. The way NYSL was shook playing them is the way they'll be shook playing Rocker here. Standy also went big for Rocker last week. He was a big part in helping them secure a 3-0 win over Optic. If he comes out strong, I think they should win. I expect him to be the X Factor of this matchup for sure and the key player to watch. And lastly here in the Sage 2 Major Final, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be giving 5-3 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. We have now seen that FaZe is not invincible as they lost to LAG last week. The Rocker have looked very solid with Standy. They 3-0'd Optic who is currently 4th in standings and reverse swept Empire who is 2nd in standings. FaZe I feel is still on a different level than everyone else though. I think that they have looked better than everyone else even with a loss. But because of how solid Minnesota has looked and because of FaZe's small slip up though, I expect a close series. I think that they all should be close maps and I easily could see it going 8. And now for my updated power rankings. 
In 12th, the LA Thieves. In 11th, the Florida Mutineers. In 10th, the Paris Legion. In 9th, the Seattle Surge. In 8th, the London Royal Ravens. In 7th, the Toronto Ultra. In 6th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 5th, the Dallas Empire. In 4th, Optic Chicago. In 3rd, the New York Subliners. In 2nd, the Minnesota Rocker. And in 1st, Atlanta Phase. <laughs> All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. To be honest, the boy Octane was not lying when he said, good luck, have fun predicting a series this year. I've had so much trouble trying to call the matches of the season on my channel. I even talked about it with my duo and dad last weekend when I was home. It's been nuts. Honestly, you can't really predict anything. It's so competitive. Everything feels like it's almost just a shot in the dark now. But I'm super excited for this weekend and I cannot wait to see how all the games play out. I also can't wait to see who's on top when it's all said and done. Oh, and of course, as always, go Thieves. All right, guys, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.